Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today is actually a follow-up to a previous video called How to Create Navigation Buttons. I've gotten a couple questions about it and Tableau has actually added some additional functionality or features, uh, dashboard actions actually, that make it easier to create these navigation buttons. So I'm going to show you how to add navigation buttons to this dashboard. First of all, we're going to be looking for some icons. Now, you may already have some icons that you want to use for your buttons, but if not, uh, just go to Google and you can search whatever you want, right click, save image as, and it will save to. Actually, I don't know if it'll save here, but you'll have to navigate here to my Tableau repository under shapes. And you just dump them in here. These are from previous. I've already gotten a couple in here. Now let's go back to Tableau. Now I've created one icon. And so this is what you need to do. I've got a, a dummy field here called the number one. It just has one and one in there. I just use it as a placeholder. So I'm going to create another worksheet. I'm going to bring the one to the, the text. It could be anything actually you could drop on there. Now I'm going to change the marks from automatic to shape. And now I've got this shape option. Left click the shape, select more shapes. And when you drop, use this drop down, you'll probably, if you have the full version, you'll have multiple items in here. Uh, you should have one called custom. And that custom is going to be going back to that My Tableau repository shapes. If you don't see the icons that are here, hit reload shapes. And then this is just as simple as click that. And I've already got the bar, so I'll make this a line and click apply. Or just OK. And you'll notice that it's really small and you can't see it. So come to the label, take off the label. You just have to have this here so that the, the chart has something to, so that under Tableau knows that there is actually something on this chart. And did some resizing. We're going to resize this here, make it a little bigger icon. And we'll call this line icon. Now what I do is then I just duplicate this to make sure that the everything is lined up correctly and it's very similar and then you can just come to shapes more shapes and change the icon that way okay and we'll change this to multiple you don't have to obviously put icon at the end it's just nice when you have a lot of items that you know which ones are icons, which ones are not. You mean you might have multiple bar charts. So now when we come to the dashboard, we will going to come down to floating. There's a couple ways of doing it. Because the way I have it set up, we're going to use floating. Uh, we're going to use a horizontal object. We're going to pull that over. This is just a dummy place for right now. And you have to hold down the shift key and bring the icons over, these different worksheets over. And look where the gray line is. That's where you want the. make sure you have it lined up correctly. And then to make it look like a real menu, I get I hide the titles. And then you can reshape the bar. And now you can stick this wherever you want. Uh, we'll stick it right here for now covers the line but and then you'll see that some of this got hidden one of the things you might want to do is say fit entire do that for all of them I apologize it's kind of messy but we're just going to do it real quick there's some other cool things that you can do once you get these icons Is you'll, if you hover over them, you see there's the average one of one, average. Um, you can actually go to the tooltip and change this. So it says go to uh, 
dashboard one. All right. Now, when you come here, you hover over it, and now it gives you a little note of what you want, where you're going to go. So once you have that set up, we're going to come to dashboards, going to actions. We're going to add an action. Here's the new one that we didn't have before when I did the previous video. Go to sheet. And so you're going to say, go to bar chart dashboard or whatever you want. So you'll make sure that it's only effective on the bar icon. It's going to be select. And then the target sheet is we're going to actually have this to dashboard two. All right. Hit OK. And so now when you come up here and click on this, it'll shoot you to dashboard two. All right. So this is what I normally do in a situation like this is I would actually create this as part of a, a tiled container and then I would make duplicates of the tiled container and that way when you uh, duplicate the dashboard these icons are already there and we'll do dashboard actions and we'll go to sheet and this time we're going to have it the line item go to go to scatter plot which is dashboard one click OK we'll just move that up to this upper right hand side and if you go to layout you can get the X and Y position exactly the same. You can get the height and width exactly the same. So that when you flip between the different dashboards, it, it looks more uh, professional. You can see these icons are kind of screwed up. So we'll just fix this real quick. Fit entire. And we'll do fit entire. And now when you click on this icon, takes you to this dashboard, takes you to this dashboard. And you don't have that, some of the coloring, or uh, don't have to double click, which was some of the complaints that we were getting from people. So there you go. That's a great way to uh, use, create navigation icons. I will point out that when I've used it and had a lot of visuals on a dashboard, that sometimes the icons take a little while and then I would recommend you going to the sheets. Also, when you're publishing, uh, I don't have it here, but if you were to publish this using a desktop or creator, there's an option to show sheets. Uh, you can turn that on or turn that off and force people to use the icons or allow them to use either way. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, leave comments. You can see that it makes a difference. Check out my t Patreon account and enjoy.